Hey, what's going on? It's DJ. Welcome to Comstead Farm, episode number six. Today is winter harvest day. We've got three oat fields that are ready for harvest, and it's also a big cow buying day as well. So if you want to buy some cows too, or you just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you're subscribed. That way you never miss any future content here on the channel. Let's do it, man. I am ready for this big old harvest. We have three massive fields of oats ready to go go and get everything turned on raise it up and of course unfold we also need to make sure our straw swath is enabled it is which is great news that way we're able to actually run this thing now i've got a spot that i like to start you guys can start here too if you like you don't have to it is what it is uh this makes things easier for me especially when hiring a worker especially with running combines and things like that i do try to do two headlands around here I try my best. I think I have crop destruction turned on. I'm not sure. Well, let's find out and see. Is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> let's double check real quick. I think I turned crop destruction off. Nope, it's definitely turned on, so we should be very, very careful about how we're going to start this one. How about we just start it right here? That's going to be totally fine. We'll go ahead and get everything turned on. Get that combine sound down just a little bit, a little bit hot. All right, so three big oat fields we've got a whole lot of work ahead of us especially with running one single combine eventually down the road i would like to get two uh, i like this one so maybe we'll just buy another one just like it works really well for me this is the starting combine except this is a modified version that uh that our good friend 82 studio helped put together so this one holds a million liters and goes you need to be faster you should be used to that by now here on the channel Pretty much everything holds more and goes faster. But, class try. Love this thing. All right, two headlands. Let's get them done. Moving along pretty quick this morning. I'm very happy about that. I'll let you guys know, this video is probably going to progress pretty quickly as well. Since we've got three fields, I'm not sure I'm going to do all of those in this single video. However, what I will tell you is we're going to be buying those cows pretty fast because all I need is this straw. I actually don't need these oats for anything. I'm sure we'll figure that out. Probably at the end of this video or in the next video, we've got to build a grain mill because I don't think there's one here on the map. We need to start getting flour made because this is Flower Simulator 22. And then we've got to start making some bread. This is the best time of the year right now to be selling that stuff in December. Problem is, we don't have any of it even built. We have wheat, barley, and oats. We've got it all, man. We just need to do it. <laughs> All right. So this field could be a little bit interesting. Here's where we are. Field number three. The shape is, well, it's different, isn't it? The thing is, you can still go straight up and down. You just got to be careful. Find your front left point right there, right? And then you kind of take a look into the ground and see all of the ways that I planted in circles. <laughs> well, find some straight lines. See if you can line up with a couple of those straight lines and just... Hire a worker. What that's going to do is that's going to help to start get all of this kind of straightened out for you a little bit. You can see it's definitely not going in line with the rows that we've got, but at least it's working. And be ready to hot fire the worker because he's just going to keep running straight. And I don't want him to do that. I'm going to back it up. We're going to go all the way back around there and do it again. After we run it the second time, it's probably going to be done i don't think we're gonna need to mess with it again after this but our worker and this should kind of get him on a straight path to do this entire thing now of course you kind of get this little triangle effect as you go along through here because the combines well they do oh i missed a few things well we'll come back and get those later uh the combines do miss a few things here and there but not too bad also we're over 25 percent full already just from the two headlands head rows what are these Somebody let me know so that I get it right. All right. So that part's done. Now we need to go and do the second part that I want to hit today. This is going to be picking up straw. As soon as we can pick all of the straw up, that's, we're ready. We're ready for, for cows right away. This ain't going to take too long. This is the same one. Why did I lower the front weight? I never want to do that. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, this is the same loading wagon that we were using in the last Let's Play. So, hey, check that out if you haven't already. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. A lot of grass work. You guys know me. I love doing grass work. Okay, so we've got a bunch of straw to pick up. 
We're going to pick up the first 100,000 liters. I doubt I'll even get around <laughs> the first row. And then it's cow's time. Yeah! While we're waiting, I figured we can go ahead and hit this spot as well. I don't know how full he's getting. Looks like about 40,000, but yeah. Definitely needed to go ahead and empty him real quick. By the way, I've got 100,000 of uh, straw. We made it all the way around one way and made it to about where the combine is on the second run. And that was it. Let's go ahead and put our straw in our handy dandy little silo right here, which has all of our silage. It has our hay and now it has the straw. And now that it has all that, let's go ahead and add one more thing. Let's go into animals. I've got a feeding mixer that I put together. So this is the Kinemec Fiber, or Kinemec Fiber 365 from 4D Modding. Now this is a mod that's supposed to be coming to consoles eventually. However, right now it's only available on PC on their website, Air Agri Modding. I'm going to go with uh, I think it's a Flotation Pro tires. Let's do, well, we really don't need any of those things, but... They do look good for an extra five grand. Why not? We've got we got the money, and then no registration plate because well, that just keeps our DJ Goham. I like that. This is gonna hold a hundred thousand liters, and it's gonna allow us to mix a lot of food at one time, which is going to be perfect. And this is empty, so it's time to go get it. And here it is, man. Oh man, do I love this mixer. So I use this a lot on Oakfield Farm. I had a personal gameplay series that I was doing just for fun on Farm Sim 17, well 19 rather, Farm Sim 19. I had a great time doing it and I love this. I do need to turn my help window on. Uh, it looks like we do need a little bit of uh, mineral feed. I didn't know about that. Uh, we will go sort that here momentarily. In the meantime, let's start by trying to figure out what our uh, mixes are going to be. So in Farm Sim 19 and 17 both, I used a 40-40-20 and that worked pretty well for me. Um, and if you've got a little bit more silage versus something else, like for me, for example, I have 200,000 liters silage. However, I only got 173,000 liters of hay. So in this case, you could maybe use a little bit more silage versus hay, but I think we're going to be okay. So let's start off. Let's do... Oh, hit that just right in a 40,000 liters of silage. Uh, let's go over here to hay. We'll bring that up to 80. Whoa, I am way too good at this. Let's go. Straw. Uh, I think we'll try and get this to like 99, 98. I'll take it. And lastly, we need to put some mineral feed in here just to give it that little extra b -b -b boost. But I don't have any mineral feed, so we need to go get some real quick. I feel like doing it this way is probably the easiest. We do have one of 82 studios. I don't care what it is. Just give it to me. Silos right here. So let's just go in here real quick and we'll buy some uh, mineral feed. I'm sure we could put it in here. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All right. Not too bad. 15. Is that 1500 bucks? Yeah, 1500 bucks for 26 Eh, it's not too bad. For this part, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Do I want to dump it in or do I want to put it in the silo and pull it from there? I think I'm going to put it in the silo and hopefully the bucket will allow it to dump into the silo. We'll go real slow and see if it does. Yay! I was really hoping that that would work because I have not had good luck with buckets and silos in the past. All right. So there's that. Nice and easy. Dun, 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 dun. Why did I turn that off? We'll pull forward. That'll give us our 2%. We'll go ahead and turn the help window back on just that way we can see our feed ratio. Pull it forward. There we go. And give me mineral feed. There we are. 100,000 liters. Perfect. Yeah, ma'am. Now we get to go buy some cows. And I've got somewhere for water, but we'll have to go pick that up. Let's go ahead and pull this right inside here. Uh-huh. We've got our uh, feed trigger. But let's buy the cows. We should probably close that as well. I, I read a post somewhere where the cows are getting out. I don't know how that's happening. As far as the test that I've done goes, I think that the Holsteins right here will give us everything we need. I thought about going with these, the Brown Swiss, just for the fun of it. I don't just... Something different. I think I'm actually going to. I think we're going to go with those. Uh, and I think it's the middle ones right here that it was showing that they will allow you to uh, to 
to have milk. That's that's what I want. So I think we could buy the ones in the middle and get milk. I think. Uh, 150 head of cattle, by the way. You uh, can't get 200 in here. Thought it was 200, but it is not. Yeah, see, I like these cows. These are nice. Now that's up. Let's give them some food. You can see down at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a lot of helpful stuff pops up. How many animals you have, how their health is, the food, milk, straw, and slurry. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and feed them. This should come out pretty quickly if I've done it correct. And I'm not sure how much it's going to dump, but they are taking it like it's going out of style. We may have to go make some more. I mean, that's totally fine with me, but all right. Maybe we don't. <laughs> what I can do is leave this here because I don't actually need this or anything else. This is this machine. This is one job. So I am just going to leave it sitting right there. Now, what else do we need here? Uh, let's see. We got the food mill. Oh, straw. We need to give them straw. Actually, this machine would work really well for giving them straw, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I don't know how much straw they need, but they can't take much more than this. <laughs> let's see. I'm not sure because I've never fed the cows on here before. Like I said this series is kind of like a learning experience with both of us. Um, well, I got the trigger for it. There we go. Okay. I was about to say, I got the trigger for it, but then it disappeared immediately. Straw's going in. You can see the straw's going up on the bottom right-hand corner. 38,000 liters seems to be the magic number. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go ahead and take the rest of this food, or the straw, rather. We'll go ahead and put it back in that silo, because the animals are probably good for about a day, maybe two days, something like that. I do know that in the next update, which by the way, I'm recording this before the update comes out, just in case it's out by the time this video drops. Um, yeah, they, the animal pens have been increased because the sheep, you basically have to feed the sheep like every six to 12 hours and water just goes out immediately. Uh, doesn't seem like a whole lot of, a whole lot of research went into that. That is what it is. The last thing that we need to do, at least for the cows today, is going to be to grab our water tank and go over there and fill them up with water. Um, moving forward and fast forwarding time, I think it's gonna be a bit of a pain because like I mentioned, these sheep need water like every couple hours and their tank or the uh, trough just completely empties. And I'm really worried that the cows are going to do exactly the same thing. That type of thing, I, I know it's being fixed. Man, it really just doesn't make for a fun gaming experience, does it? You don't need to do that in real life. Come on, there you go. All right. By the way, I didn't know that was there. Thanks for whoever pointed that out in the last comment section. Let's go give them some water. And then the cows will be completely done, at least for right now, for today. Water trough looks full. Do I actually need to give them water? Um, well, that's showing me the field. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Cows? Um, hey, grass, whatever. No, that's fine. Oh, I don't need to give them water. Huh. Well, JK about the water thing. I guess we're not giving them water today. Totally fine with me. That's one less thing I have to do. All right. So the cows are now done. They are completely finished up. Of course, the grass over here, uh, we've got a good yield bonus, 98%. Not too bad. I do have lime turned off. Plowing is turned on. Hopefully we don't have to plow that up. But eventually we are going to have to look for a new grass field. And now that we're kind of in this nice happy medium where things seem to be working pretty well for us all right dude don't lay right in front of the water tank get stop quit doing quit doing what you're doing right now you're being weird we, we're gonna need a new new field i will say there is one that i have been eyeballing and it's field number 25 because currently field 25 has barley in it and it wants me to harvest it the problem is we now don't have enough money for it anymore. So we would have to take out a loan. On top of that, we would not be able to. AI workers completed their task. Ayo, we got something going on up here. Let's go check out what's going on in the main field. Uh, I've still got to buy a bakery and I've still got to get all of the production chain stuff for doing oats. So I, 
I've got a, a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky suspicion that we are going to run out of money quickly. We started with a lot. Actually, there is one thing that we can sell if we want to get some more money. But that's going to be way over here at the main house. Right here. We could sell the house. <laughs> Uh, click on the boss. We could also sell the doghouse for $690,000. Nice. Uh, that may be what we end up doing. I do like that the, <laughs> do like that the dog just runs around everywhere. I think that's super cool. I don't want to lose that, but I think if we have to lose anything, that function may be the one that we have to lose. All right. Let's go and get this turned on. We'll do a little quick double check just to see what we've got and what we don't have. So we've got a spot here, a spot up there. So we'll clean this up real quick and then this field at least will be done. Getting one more final unload right here. We did pretty well overall. All right, let's just go ahead and turn that off. Leave that sitting for a sec. We did pretty well, 90,000 liters of oats. That's just on one field, just one of our fields. So moving forward, let's talk about how we're gonna plan this out because Unlike in Farming Simulator 19 and 17 and 15 and 13, also known as Farming Simulator, well, we've got silo limitations. And I'm not talking about the grain silos that we're getting ready to fill in. I'm actually talking about the one behind us right now. So that silo has a limitation. The limitation is 4 million liters, right? Well, in that 4 million liters, we actually have to be a little bit careful because I need to put straw, hay, and silage all in that. Well, that is going to be a bit of a problem once we start getting millions of liters of the different... Oh boy, that's a crash counter. These trailers may have not been the right choice. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit much once we get into it. So let's go in. Silos. I just want to look at this because it's always good to kind of hash it out while you're thinking about it. So 4 million liters... If we've got a 40% need for silage and a 40% need for hay and a, a very small need for straw, well, that puts us at a predicament, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I don't know what the math is on any of that, by the way. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually, but we'll, we'll kind of have to limit ourselves. So every time we do a harvest, we'll have to limit ourselves to a certain amount. And then once we go from there, we could just sell off whatever's left hmm, seems to work works pretty well in my head what do you guys think are we done yet this is taking forever moving on to the next field i figured i would let you guys know i figured out my silo uh not the exact numbers by the way of course i didn't do it the right way um so the numbers that i'm gonna rock with are one and a half liters or one and a half million liters each of silage and hay so that puts us up to three million half a million liters of straw Although we may need more than that because we've got to have it for feed and for bedding. So I'm not sure how long that's going to work. Uh, we, we might do a little bit more than that. And of course, we've got to have room for grass because we have to put grass in there and then it will, you know, magically turn the grass into silage. Don't, don't tell anyone. <clears throat> I'm not cheating. You're, you're cheating. Get out of here. So we, we've got a lot for at least a little bit of each, but we've got to also be aware of how much we're collecting and that type of thing. This is not something that I've ever had to do before. I've never had to prepare. Never had to do it the right way. We're going to have to prepare and do it the right way unless I increase that leaderage up just a ton. But hey, at least we won't be wasting any, right? <laughs> Right. Well, guys, at least for today, that is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Let me know you enjoyed it. Get subscribed if you're new around here and join the GoHam fam. Make sure not notification bells are on. Does, does every YouTuber say that now? I don't, I don't like saying it anymore. I may just stop. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I am going to sell the doghouse. We are going to buy the other field, so we've got another harvest to do. We're going to have way too much straw, which means we're going to have way too many straw bells because we're only going to get between, what, 500 and a million liters of straw total to be able to keep. We're going to have a whole lot more of that. It's going to be fun. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.